Hi, you might have heard of the expression, we're going to live off the fat of the land. Well, today we're going to look at the role of plant fats and oils or lipids in both plant health, but also soil health. So plant leaves which are healthy, as you'll know from some of our other videos, are waxy. And the wax that's deposited on leaves is a signal that a plant is manufacturing high levels of sugar. It's getting most of its nutrition through soil biology and you can see this leaf, this apple leaf, is waxy and it's very resilient because it can cope with drought. This is from a tree that's not been watered for years but has borne a very good crop. And it shows how healthy leaves display their health in coating themselves in this what we call lipid. And lipids have an important role in plant health because if a fungus or a bacteria disease lands on this leaf, it finds it very difficult to penetrate through this layer of wax. And most importantly, it keeps the plant really healthy through long droughts. We're going to look next at how this mechanism really works. Right, I'm going to show you a little experiment which demonstrates the effect of plant oils and lipids on plant fibres. Okay, so here's a piece of paper which I'm using to demonstrate plant fibres in leaves. And you can see this printing paper, it's got some structural integrity, dry. Now I'm going to add some herbal tea to this leaf. Really soak it on. Just let it go in for a second. Now let's see the effect. I can pull it apart very easily. This is now wet fibre, like in a very thin leaf, and it's just very weak. Now we're going to have a look at what the difference is when we add extra virgin olive oil, which is a natural plant oil, to the surface. Just let that soak in. And you can see structural integrity is just as strong as it was before. Interestingly, do a second part to this experiment, and we pour some of the tea on there. You can just see it running straight off. We test the leaf again, paper, it still maintains that strength. So this has shown you how important lipids are in the structural integrity of plants, but more importantly, how difficult it is for water to react with lipids. If you've got a leaf like this, which is waxy, it's able to hold onto water a lot more because it's coated itself in these lipids and that makes it much more drought resistant. And it means that during a drought, production of fruit is not affected, has a big role to play in the production in an orchard. How do we end up making our plants secrete these waxes and lipids on their leaves? Well, the real answer to that is partly nutrition and partly soil biology. Soil biology has a huge role to play in the way that plants behave. And when plants are very happy and they're getting lots of nutrients through the soil biology, and they're receiving things like sulphides and other trace elements in a form that they can really use, they're much more efficient. Their photosynthetic rate goes up and they're able to secrete luxury amounts of lipid because they're making so much more sugar inside their leaves. And it's a sign, it's a signal of great efficiency of growth. But it's also something even more intriguing and we're gonna look at that next. So when you see lipids being deposited on leaves, something else is happening in the soil which is even more important for plant health and soil health. And that's that the lipids are being pumped out into the soil in vast amounts and being broken down very slowly by fungi. And that has a significance of huge proportions for plant health and soil health because the organic levels start to really rise when this happens. So this idea that soil health really drives plant health is actually turned on its head. When you think about it, the healthiness of the plant and the pumping out of these lipids into the soil and the breakdown of these lipids by fungi and turning that into organic material completely reverses the role. And in fact, healthy soil is generated by healthy plants. And that's how you live off the fat of the land.